Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Mr. Ellison. I would like to welcome you guys into my classroom, and today we're going to talk about a concept called algebraic relationships. Now, algebraic relationships are relationships between given sets of data, and this given set of data can be in a sequence, it can be in a table, just like the one that I have right here, but the, that, but the relationships we're going to talk about today are a relationship between an X value and a Y value, as we have here in this table. Or in other words, we're going to have, talk about the relationship between an input and an output. Now, in order to find the relationship between an input and an output, we're going to learn about a really simple equation. It's not the only one, but it's the one we're going to talk about today. And that algebraic relationship, the equation we're going to use to find the algebraic relationship in this table is a simple equation, and it's called y equals k times x. Now, I'm going to explain the component parts of y equals k times x right now. Now y and x, these are the given values inside our table. Our given x, which is the input, which is 1, and our y, which is our output, and it's 3. Now there's a relationship between those two inputs and outputs, and we're going to determine that right now. And the relationship between those inputs and outputs gives us what our k is, and our k is the constant number, the number that we're going to put into this equation to help us find the missing data underneath the given data. Now, the equation y equals kx, the way I teach my students in class is there are four steps involved that if you follow those steps to a t, then you will be able to find k pretty easily. Now we need to find k, which is the constant, because we're going to take that constant value and we're going to plug it back into our equation. Now in any algebraic table, you'll have a set of data and you'll have a rule at the bottom that you follow. And what you'll do is you'll take your input values, which are your x values, and you'll plug them in or substitute them into your equation and then you'll solve this side of the equation and it'll give you what your missing values are over on this side. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to have, we have our given numbers, 1 and 3. Whatever, what we have and what we have is our 1 and our 3 but what we don't have is our value of k, our constant. We need to find that. So let's go ahead and get started, and we're going to find it. Now, the first thing I tell my class to do is put down that you are solving for k. That way it's in your mind. You're thinking about it. Okay, I'm solving for k. So I've got my equation standing right in front of me. Now, the second step I tell them is, okay, now that I know I'm solving for k, I need to take my simple equation and write it up there so it's right in front of my face. So I'm going to write, okay, y equals k times x. Now, the next part, the next step, what I'm going to do is, now that I have my equation, I'm going to take my given data, and I'm going to put it in to my formula. And that will allow me to solve for what I need. So I know that I have a y value. It's given to me. My y value is 3. So instead of y, I can substitute and I can put a 3 there. And bring down my equal sign. Now k, we don't have that one yet, so we got to leave it as an unknown. The unknown is k. But look, we have a value of x, don't we? We have a value of x and it's 1. So we can, we can substitute our x with a 1. Now tell them, once you've got your equation set up, and all your numbers substituted or replaced 
by the variables, the variables replaced by the numbers, what we're going to do is we're going to look at this equation. Now this equation is actually a multiplication equation because what you're saying is this. You're saying that some number, some constant number times 1 give, is going to equal 3. Now what we've learned in our basic algebra studies here in sixth grade is that whenever you are doing an operation and you want to find an unknown, you do the opposite operation and that separates the variable from everything else and then whatever you get on the other side ends up being what your unknown is. So the opposite operation of multiplication would be to divide. And when we divide and it, with an equation, we always want to leave the we want to divide by the number that's closest to the variable. That way, we isolate the variable and get it by itself. Now, the closest number to the variable is one, so we're going to divide by one. And when we do that, the one goes away, and the k stays all by itself. The k is isolated. Boom. Now, since this is an equation, has an equal sign. We have to do the same thing that we did on the other side, on this side. It's kind of like a balance. So we have to divide by 1. Now 3 divided by 1 gives me 3. Now 3. So 3 equals k. Ah, we found our constant. Our constant is 3 equals k, or k equals 3. Now we're getting somewhere. Now that we have our k, this is our fourth step, we're going to take our variable that we know and we're going to substitute it. We're going to put it right here in our little algebra box. And this is how you read it. Now in order to solve the rest of this table, whatever I have for the value of x, I'm going to put it right here, okay? And I'm going to multiply times 3. And what I get when I multiply the x times the 3, it'll give me my missing y value. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to plug in a number. Let's just plug it in. Let's just say we want to find what our y output is going to be if we input a2 for x. So let's go ahead and try that. We're going to take our 2, our input, and we're going to input it into the equation. And instead of x, we're going to put 2. So y equals 3 times 2. 3 times 2 is 6. So our y value, if we substitute a 2 for x, our y value is going to be 6. Now let's go ahead and try 3. Now let's just say we want to put a 3 in here, but we don't know what our y value is going to be. That's our output. Well, let's go ahead and instead of putting an x here, we'll replace it with a 3. Now, 3 times 3 gives me 9. And so y, or my output, is going to be 9. Basically what this is saying is that whatever I get for y is going to be three times as big as what I have for my x. Now let's find out if that's true. We've got our x value, and now we said whatever our y is is going to be three times the size of our x value. Let's see, to get from one to three, we have to multiply times three. That's three times the size. Now to go from 2 to 6, we have to multiply times 3. The 2, the 6 is 3 times the size of the 2. Now in here, to get from 3 to 9, we have to multiply times 3. Now we can see that our value of 9 is 3 times the size of our x, which is our input. And the 3 is going to be our constant. Okay? And the 3 as a constant is the same as the 3, which is a constant in our equation. Now, thank you guys for coming out into my classroom 
and learning how to graph ordered pairs and solve equations using y equals kx. You guys have a wonderful day, and I look forward to seeing you guys again. Bye.